if you have been tuning in to my earlier videos, you would have noticed what I have shared about creating non-linear plots. Non-linear plots are interesting twists to the way stories are developed. Today, let's explore how to create a good flash-forward and flashback. Do we really know how to use this technique well? Here is a common method that students use. I was going home after school when I saw a male Norwich dog. An incident came to mind. A wave of memories flooded my mind. Now how meaningful is this? There's a problem to it. It is meaningless, superficial and blunt. Using this idea is a good concept, but it should blend in with the rest of the story. What it lacks is a proper setting, depth, imagery and liveliness to this introduction. The question is, where was the character? How did the dog come about? How did he know the stray was malnourished? And what makes this dog so unusual? Isn't this encounter too abrupt? Charlene, where are you going? A silvery voice caught my attention. Turning around clumsily, I dropped my gaze to the bulging back in my laden arms. I just raided the pet store for these, I chuckled. My smile must have been contagious, for she returned it with a beam. Offering to help me with my load, we walked back to my house while I recounted how I had come to own a new pet. Now, give it a go and remember this acronym to help you. Setting, Action, Imagery and Depth. This acronym will help you to create a more meaningful introduction.